In this video, we would like to show you how to use the tack points of a paint protection film pattern. Um, the reason we have tack points, or roadmap as some people call it, is so that you install the pattern in a similar fashion as the designer intended it to be. So when they design a pattern, they factor in certain amounts of stretch and the way a pattern hooks up so that when you stretch it and pull it and install it, you get the, the best install that you can. So we're gonna move forward and show you how this particular pattern was meant to be done. All right, so let's come on over here and do this pattern using our tack points, just to kind of give everybody an idea of how that works. Loosen this pattern up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna come on over here. The, the tack points begin on the passenger side and they show tack point number one here, number two here, and number three in the center. And then we'll move to the other side, which this pattern is meant to be installed edge to edge, or as a lot of installers call it, coast to coast. So we're gonna be on our passenger side Got our lineup point right here. I'm gonna kind of get that down. I have my solution mixed a little on the lean side so it sticks pretty fast. There's my tack point number one. Back in the back, I'm gonna get over to my edge. Give myself a little squeegee right here. That's tack point number two. And then number three is just making sure we're good to the edge and just finishing out this side, making sure it's aligned properly. As you can see, when we do this, the fingers come right out. Everything lays nice and flat. Now we're going to move over to side number two. As you can see, we do have a pretty nice gap here, which helps us to install our pattern by stretching. Gets most of the fingers out, and our tack point number four is here, number five is in the back, number six is here. Just a repeat of the other side on this side. So our point, lining that up, this and this, same as the other side. Locked in place. And then let's move to point number five, which is opposite of number three on the other side. Bring our edge over nicely, lock it in place, and then just proceed to finish out the middle area. You can see that pulled the pattern pretty flat. We got a nice little stretch over our ridge there. So we're gonna come to the next point of install, which number seven, our tack point is in the middle. We're gonna do number eight here and number nine here. And this will allow us a couple of exit areas. I like for my water to come out the front. So I'll pull back to make sure my gap is good. I'm just gonna lock that right there. I'll come over here and lock me an area right here. This is just ensuring I have a nice even gap across the front. That looks good. So I'm gonna bring my water over the edges. I just like bringing everything to the middle Makes for a nice smooth install. Kind of like to wipe my edges off a little so water doesn't run under my freshly installed paint protection film. Now I'll just finish out the other side. As you can see, our pattern stretched out nice and flat, installed the way it was meant to be installed. And it's actually, when you do it the way it is meant and designed to be, it becomes a very easy install. Nothing too hard about it. The pattern should lay fairly flat shouldn't give you too much problem. Should always be enough stretch factored in to allow the pattern to pull the fingers out. And there you go.